funny. Oh, looks like we meet again. Hello. Sonny, I got your message. What did you need to see me about? Sonny, why did you want to meet me? Uh, I just I just wanted to ask you a few things about uh, Jackson Brenda. Can you excuse us? Absolutely. Look, if you think I'm going to help you, I'm not. I lied. What? I didn't want the doctor to get the wrong idea. Do you know him? Sure, he's one of Catherine's doctors. I don't suppose you know him from before that. Why, should I? I take that as a no. Actually, the first time I met him, I had this sort of odd feeling that I had seen him somewhere before. Of course, he thought that was a pickup line. Well, you can't blame the sleeves for trying. Boy, I sure hope you're going to up the medication on Mr. Miller. He's been complaining nonstop for the past three hours. Oh, gee whiz, does that make your job inconvenient? No, but it makes his life real unpleasant. By the way, congratulations on your big press release. Sounds like it's going to be great. What are you talking about? You don't know. What? Let's just figure that I probably don't know what I'm talking about. Did you see Mrs. Spinner's food allergies? Nurse Vine, why don't you tell me what you know and tell me right now? Uh, I just, all I know is that the desk nurse called from three because they were out of ibuprofen and she somehow mentioned that somebody had come by to get your press kit. You know, your, your bio, your commendations photo the humanitarian award you're going to get? You really don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Why don't you tell me what this person looks like? Well, that's why she brought it up. It seemed kind of odd to her. He had, like, short hair and a black leather jacket and jeans. Sounds like Jason Morgan. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Then, of course, we all know he'd be about the last person who would give you a humanitarian award. There's Mr. Miller's call button. You know what? I'm going to refer him to you about that medication. Certainly. Certainly. 